As luck would have it, I released the first prep episode on Sunday, May 13th, and the research is already out of date. Damn you, science! PrEP has been approved by the US FDA for individuals 18 years and older since 2012. However, on Tuesday, May 15th, it was announced that the US FDA had now approved PrEP for use in adolescents, which is defined in the US as people ranging from 13 to 24 years old. This approval comes on the heels of a study published last year that examined the safety of PrEP use on a sample of 67 HIV-negative 15 to 17-year-olds. All of the participants were deemed to be at high risk for acquiring HIV. Participants were provided PrEP for daily use, and by the end of the study, 48 weeks, three participants had become HIV positive. However, all three participants had levels of the medication in their body that equaled less than two doses per week, which basically means that for those that actually took it daily, it worked. But adherence is important, and that may be a barrier for adolescents. There's a lot to think about here. And yeah, it's great news, but to be honest, I'm not convinced it's going to actually make a huge impact. The CDC reported that in 2016, youth between 13 and 24 years old made up 21% of all new HIV diagnoses, and 92% of those were all gay and bisexual youth. Now keep in mind that gay and bisexual men make up a small percentage of the population, so this is a huge health disparity. And research has not yet uncovered all the specific barriers that adolescents may come up against when trying to get on PrEP. Next month at the International Association of Providers of AIDS Care Conference in Miami, I'm presenting research that shows there are multiple barriers to uptake for youth that we don't yet have ways around. For example, being on your parents' insurance, which you can be on until you're 25 years old in the US. Our findings show that individuals who are on their parents' health insurance are less likely to go on PrEP than those who are on their own insurance. Imagine you're on your parents' insurance and you've decided you want to go on PrEP. It might mean having to have a discussion with your parents about your sex life, or even having to come out to them just to protect your health. There's also an issue of money and paying for it, as you will still need the same quarterly doctor's appointments and testing. So at this point, it's really unknown exactly how the approval is going to benefit adolescents, but it's a step in the right direction. I do think that there is one specific population that could really benefit, and that's homeless youth. About 40% of homeless youth identify as LGBT and have been kicked out of their parents' homes. Often, homeless youth turn to sex work and engage in sexual risk as a way to make money, a way to survive. If we can find a way to get prepped to those people, that could make a huge difference. For more information on PrEP, watch my previous video. And if you're thinking about going on PrEP, check out the link below for more information on where you can find it in your area. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. I've got a lot of content in production and I don't want you to miss out. So go ahead and click that subscribe button. In the meantime, check out one of these other videos. And don't forget to send me your questions about sex. Thomas talks about at gmail.com.